I cannot believe they would risk keeping Einstein in such a poorly defended area. Believe it or not, they did. And now we have him. The transmitter is undetectable and has a range of 500 miles. What makes you think the Allies will try to rescue him? Certainly they think he died in the attack on the base. That would have been true, had I not leaked information about Einstein's capture and scheduled execution. The Allies will come for their prize. And we will be able to track him through his watch? Yes, comrade. And he will lead us right to the chronosphere. Einstein is gone, comrade. Allied coordinates coming in now. With the chronosphere and the iron curtain, soon we will stand invincible. Prepare a strike team. Be careful. The Allied radar automatically sends a destruct code to the chronosphere if an intruder is detected. If you are detected before the radar is captured, we could lose the chronosphere. Losing the chronosphere is not an option. Welcome back, Commander. So, you see, I hope that Cutscene explained how when a papa hull and a mama turret m make love, they... I don't know where I'm going with this. Okay, so I'm pretty sure the video is just not high enough of a quality, but do you think maybe the person inspecting um, dead Einstein noticed that his watch didn't work? Oh, and also, the little blurb of, like, speech right before Einstein gets teleported, keep that in mind for three games from now? I guess five if you count the expansions to Red Alert as well. This map is another in a long list of ones that, how do I put this, um, can be quite troublesome. It doesn't help that I don't really like the, the, the starting position, because, I don't know, I feel like the more I play this game, the more it sort of felt like the developers wanted you to start your base like where you got your construction vehicle rather than moving around and then building somewhere and consequently I feel like this map is kind of a good example of that where you can build close or just where I am now um, realistically there's no other good spot but it's you don't really have good options no matter what and I hate having to build in like a far corner and then moving all my units over and over again. Or at least that's the feeling I get after, you know, playing like two hours of a mission or two. It's a shame that the build-up on this map 
doesn't really have too much to really talk about. Just because, well, the ending is a little, a little bit more interesting, if you want to put it that way. All things said, though, I think it's sh it's rather uh, nice to be able to point out that all these levels that we've seen, they all feel like designed well enough that they incorporate. I want to say three, but it's really two. Um, the two different like methods of movement. Um, obviously, you've got aircraft. You know, uh, aside from the ground and sea stuff, but the aircraft would move over anything, anyways. Um, there's never a part where there's like a mountain that's too tall or something dumb. Also, that was really annoying. But getting back to my point, is that the maps always seem to offer at least something for, say, subs to do, or for gunboats and destroyers. I think for a game that, I mean, relatively this early in uh, strategy game, you know, life cycles, uh, or history, I should rather say, um, it's neat to see. Reporting. Affirmative. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Speaking of neat things, I kind of didn't mention it at all, but if you notice that uh, at the start of the mission, there was a vehicle moving around with a spinning tuning fork. That's a mobile gap generator. Basically, it acts as a normal ja gap generator, except it's, well, mobile. Yeah. It doesn't hide, you know, stuff on the map permanently. At least I don't remember it doing that. But it is rather nice. It, it's just a shame that the Allies don't get it as a tool during their own campaign. Granted, it's functionally useless against the AI, but, I mean, that doesn't really stop you from using, say, a thief. So, just, you know, that weird discrimination, Westwood. Construction? Vehicle reporting. I think it's fair to say that I've played this game enough that I know the general layout of a lot of different maps, um, just because I've played them so many times as a kid, but I will admit I didn't realize that the enemy base was this close, or at least that there was a field of anything on this side. I just figured everything was closer to your original spawn point. As always, if you can manage to cripple your your opponent's economy, it's usually the best way to go about a mission like this. So technically that little bridge that is basically separating, it's, a, it's presumed the Allied base, um, and my own, is it acts as a nice little barrier. The AI, to the best of my knowledge anyways, won't deliberately go out of its way to destroy it. That's an entirely player-made decision, which I think is nice. If you think the AI might be pushing you a little bit too hard, or you'd rather have that additional safety, nothing stops you from basically waltzing up a couple of V2 rockets and laying waste to it. As we've seen numerous times, and probably mentioned by me several times as well, there's no way to repair a bridge. Which is 
sadly a limitation, I believe, of the engine. But, hey, you gotta make do with what you got. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Construction options. Unit ready. Vehicle report. Yes, sir. I can also see why someone would choose to... Um, basically destroy that small bridge because when you have attacks like these where the allies keep landing units or presumably landing units behind your base it's a little annoying I say presume landing because well we can't see the bottom of the map but it does look sectioned off at some point Oh, and it looks like some of that fog of war have re has regrown, so probably a safe bet that the allies have a gap generator there. Mobile or otherwise. Yes, sir. Speaking of, the mobile gap generator is one of those units that uh, I believe the manual states is a multiplayer only. So, you kind of... It's got its uses against human players. Let's put it at that. Building. Kind of like mines being thrown about. Oh, hey, there's another one. So, yeah, it seems to just regrow it. They have no offensive capability, and there's no defenses for them either, so... It's kind of what you see is what you get. Depending on who you ask, I, I could see them being uh, incredibly useless. I don't think I'd be that strong in my judgment, though. Nothing will ever be quite as frustrating as just seeing a tank disappear on you. Yeah, this might have been a poor decision. Although, granted, if there weren't so many mines, I probably would have had a better, easier time at pushing through. So we have to destroy the radar dome, which is, well, so far easier said than done. Also really doesn't help that there seems to be a camel pillbox somewhere. Admittedly, I may have gone a little overboard with how many subs I purchased. And honestly, at this point, well, after having lost my entire attacking force, it's a let's rebuild everything and go at it a second time. And yeah, it does seem that the uh, waterway 
sections off the map. You might be wondering, why would I bother leaving like one sub to do nothing? Its purpose is literally just to block them from rebuilding a naval yard. And yeah, you have to destroy radar domes, plural, so... Okay, you have to kind of figure out where exactly are all the radar domes. Are there only two? Are there more? If only we had a tech center that could give us a satellite. On top of that, or on top of everything, it doesn't help that the Allies are really good at trying to frustrate your attempts at well, gathering any sort of money. After a while, you kind of have to go towards locations that had the enemy. And, you know, cruisers that then demolish your base. I believe regardless of what you do, the cruisers would come up to your base. They'd just use the top waterway rather than anything else. But hey, at least I used Mammoth Tanks to get a confirmed kill on a cruiser. Don't quite recall ever doing that in my childhood. Every time I encounter mines, I will admit, I do get a little paranoid. I just start shooting everywhere on the ground. Especially when it comes to mammoth tanks, I prefer not having some nasty surprises. Like, you know, this entire base full of tanks. I was kind of hoping I'd get the same, like, error, quote-unquote, as, uh, as last time with, you know, or, sorry, with the uh, units, like, walking across spaces they shouldn't, but uh, sadly not the case. And once again, being able to starve out the enemy from getting any sort of income obviously affects them and how they're going to be able to retaliate. It's nice, though, that even with, I don't want to say the guaranteed victory, because you never know what, ha what might happen, it's nice that the AI actually can put up a fight. As we saw with the base when it had a ton of tanks there, I don't think there's ever any sort of like directive for them to go attack specifically, but it is nice to see that. Had they chosen to attack it, it might have been a little dicey. Maybe it's something that only happens on a harder difficulty. 
Hard to say, really. I want to say that this is a brazen example of the AI cheating. There's nothing that would allow them to uh, effectively get three longbows immediately. You, you can't stack purchases of those vehicles. So, how did they get those three longbows to appear? And they all target relatively the same group, and then they just go off map. I guess in a way it's this version, or this game's version of the A-10 strike? Either way, it's a little annoying <laughs> to have to deal with. Mainly just because you never really expect it, it just sort of happens. Construction complete. Building. Primary building. Selected. Reporting. Acknowledged. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Affirmative. Acknowledged. Echo acknowledged. Unit ready. Building. Awaiting the Reporting. Reporting force. Oh hey, that's right, I don't have any music playing in the background. Hmm. Probably just a matter of me reloading a couple times. No big deal. Primary building. So this sort of happened to me the first time I played this uh, this map. Is uh, I decided, eh, screw it, I'll go down south immediately, see how far I can go. And evidently that takes you up against, well, whatever forces are initially in, in those patches of, uh, of gold. But on top of that, those medium tanks at the bottom. It's not exactly a huge problem for your starting force, but probably not a good idea to lose them uh, super quickly either. It's pretty important to be cautious at this point. The cutscene at the start wasn't messing around. If somebody discovers your pre presence, which it's kind of weird that they don't, like, when you think about it, it's not like you're destroying, like you have like paratroopers that drop in and kill the radar dome immediately. This is just a frontal assault on a well-defended base. You'd think they'd be able to notify somebody. Regardless, you don't quite know where everything is. Not unless you spend like 40 minutes just, you know, spy planning everything. So it's kind of hard to tell what exactly this map is looking like. Mission saved. And what I mean by that is that you can clearly tell that there's bridges up at the top, and they're linking, you know, the various portions of the map together. But we also see a cliff. Does that mean that it's kind of just like an alternate path? And would there be a radar dome on that alternate path? versus somewhere else. 
for that matter, is the chronosphere even on the map? Or if it is, are we going to have to do anything with it? I mean, everybody keeps referring to having to capture it. And ignore the mine sound that was off screen. I totally didn't run a mana tank over one, again. Unfortunately, Parabombs, they're just gonna always be that sort of cool if you can, crap if you can. A type of ability, anyways. Oh, hi guys. Anybody else ever get nervous when they see that screen shake happen? Construction complete. I always see it as like, oh no, one of my very important units has just exploded. Building. Oh, and yeah, two light tanks did run most of the map just so that they can go harass uh, or collector. Sorry, harvester. Sadly, I don't think there's any way to stop those uh, those unit drops. Nor apparently the three Apaches that they can just call in willy nilly. Yes, sir. On the plus side, it you know my two Sam sites do a good job. Yeah, bridge killing isn't nearly as exciting as one might think. And because of having units constantly harassing my harvesters, it's one of those things that I'm just going to have to try and keep a, an eye on all the time. This is one of those missions I really wish I had a cruiser for. I think the saddest part is that this really just ends up being way, way more complicated than it needs to be.
I mean, let's face it. You're not really going to be running vehicles over that bridge. The amount of cruisers and destroyers there, the turret defenses, the various enemy tanks. It's just asking for it to be blown under your own feet. Alright, so there's a third radar dome that we've now destroyed. Surely that means that we're, we can capture the chronosphere. Where is the chronosphere? Oh. Great. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I know what I did wrong. It's not really, like, visible at all. But if you kind of squint real hard, you'll see that I actually used the Iron Curtain ability. And also that there's a radar dome on top of the hill. And I conveniently miss it with my uh, spy plane. You can kind of just see the edge of it if you know what the, uh, the, actually build, the building sprite looks like. So, okay, we've got a dilemma here. There's a radar dome up top, which obviously I'll just bring my V2 launchers to destroy. Because if I don't, it'll most likely warn the chronosphere, and then the chronosphere will be blown up. Alright, problem one solved. Now, next step is to advance on the chronosphere. That's the only thing I can think of. Oh, hey, look at this jerk! Yeah, so you also have to be quick, because if you're not, the allies will blow up their own building. Which, like, really, when you think about it, that's actually super cool. You don't really see other games that ever do that sort of thing. At least, not strategy games. Okay, so I've built my mammoth tanks, I have an engineer, it, there's a stupid base up top, like, who cares about that, right? Like, half health, my V2 rockets can't do anything, I'll use a MiG to do, you know, just harassment. Because honestly, I'm not doing anything else at this point. Man, this is going to be a long cutscene once this is all over. Unit ready. I should really just let power bombs do this. Oh, and... Strangely, there's a fog of war that's regrowing there? Like, I'm gonna have to be sure to check to see if there's like a... Just a mobile gap generator just hiding there. Which would kind of be funny. I know I destroyed a power plant earlier, but come on. Mission site. Yes, sir. Uh, Mission failed. Okay, hold on. Uh, Reinforcements have arrived. Now the chance to catch the crossfire, then capture it. Okay. 
What did I do wrong? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Okay. Either I'm really stupid or something somebody needs to explain this to me. I What if I blow it up? Hmm. Who could have seen this one coming? Mission failed. All right. Starting to get tired of that stupid cutscene. All right, all right. What if there's a radar dome left on the map? Hmm. It's so stupid it might just work. <laughs> Fuck! Mission <laughs> failed. Reinforcements have arrived. Have you ever just played a map and just been confused? What am I doing? What's my objective? At this point, I don't even know. Yes, sir. Acknowledge. It'd be more powerful if this was the one moment I'd ever had like no music playing. It really show that you know I'm don't know what the hell I'm doing right now. Take that medium tank, you, you jerk. Man, I wonder how many kids watch my stupid videos. I just swore like real loud before. So, uh, how's your day going? Good? Maybe? Probably better than how this is going. I'm like a hundred percent certain that I was like on my phone checking out what the hell I needed to do. <laughs> Unit ready. Building. Unable to comply. Building in progress. Unit ready. So, let me show you this wild, wild, wild world of missioning. I, I don't know anymore. Everything is cloudy. I'm in like a fugue state. Ah, the nice little butt shimmy over there. Yeah, game, I don't really care about silos right now. You're never gonna make me care about silos right now. This is one of those times where I kind of wish I had like a manual that just told me like what the like auto deploy thing was. Ah, uh, now this is a naval invasion. Yes, silos, who cares. Okay. I've destroyed the base. There's... Is there a radar dome here? Please tell me that. Okay, so there's... Uh, gap generators. Did I miss anything else on the map? Somebody help me look here. Oh, hey, look, me revealing trade secrets. Yeah. Mission accomplished. If you destroy everything on the map, that counts as capturing the radar dome. Don't ask. <laughs> 